What's going on guys? Quick video update on the same site, uh, cookie attribute uh, that Google has released. Some more, we have some more news, so I wanted to report on uh, some quick updates. So the same site, as you guys know, I have made some videos about this. What is this attribute and what does it really do? And uh, check out those videos. Uh, I'm gonna reference it right here. Can't really point, but sure. And uh, the problem with this, uh, that introduction of the same site is kind of a breaking change to the web. And uh, I talked about that and talked about it's actually a good change. It's a good breaking change. Uh, it will eliminate maybe 99% of the cross-site request forgery attacks. You know, uh, if you're on another site, you don't want to send your precious Bank of America cookies to uh, from shady websites so that's so that's a good change right so we talked about that right however in the midst of COVID-19 and all that stuff going on uh, people try to access uh, government websites which we all know it's not running in really cutting edge technology right so they've been relying on that property being absent and as a result when chrome released that same site attribute back in when uh, was it april i think yeah in april exactly before april actually right they released it way back and all websites started breaking people couldn't get to the information they need they couldn't access uh, government websites. They couldn't have access COVID-19 websites because of all this cookies attribute, right? Uh, and uh, it's a mess. Anyway, so Google made a good decision, I believe, on April to actually temporarily roll back that thing. And just for people to not freak out and have access to this uh, to information without being actually blocked and... and getting errors and, and some some reports actually reporting that you are infinitely getting redirected to the same website and and I can understand that because there might be logic that say okay oh I, I'm not logged in there's no cookie try to log in again oh try to log in again and you can you can feel into this loop right and uh, obviously Google is now re-enabling this feature uh, on July 14. So what does that mean for you guys? So if you have any website that take advantage of of any cookies to begin with, if you have never ever used same site property, which is most probably you didn't because it's a new property that's been added, I would I believe one was added ever 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 first time. Experimental. No, it was even before. No, I think back back. They take they they introduced this way before 2019. I don't remember exact date. But if you don't, if you don't have that property, there is new semantics attached with the absence of that property. And, and that semantic is lax. And I explain what that means. I'm not going to go through it in, in that video, uh, in this video. But what you need to do is be explicit with your attributes, right? In the cookies. So if you still want the old behavior, Say it, set same site equal none. And I and I talked about that. Check that old video and how to do it. And based on whatever web server you're using, hopefully your web server have fine grain control on uh, if you're if you're writing your own framework application, should be fine, right? You can just write at add, add that additional property to your same site. But if you don't, uh, then you have to rely on the web server giving you that functionality to actually edit that stuff all right guys that's it all for me today so you have like what now more than a month to uh to take advantage of that and just basically get ready so we have more time for people to actually bring that uh bring their websites and web applications back to speed right and and make sure everything is working correctly right and yeah, guys, uh, and what do you think about this change? Do you do you disagree? Do you agree? Because I got a lot of comments actually disagreeing with that change and, and, and other breaking changes. Like, hey, you shouldn't touch the web. Bre uh, web should always remain backward compatible. But a lot of people disagree with that. But I'd like to hear you. What do you think, guys?
Let me know in the comment section below. Gonna see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.